Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at quadratic regression. We're going to answer the question, how can data be modeled with a quadratic equation and how can I use a regression equation to solve problems? So quadratic regression, let's talk about that. It is often real world data is in the shape of a curve or a parabola when graphed. So we can use quadratic regression on graphing calculators to write the equation for the curve of best fit by following these steps below. So we'll go over these steps in a minute. Let's talk about what calculators we're gonna use. So on your star test, your state test, you're gonna have a virtual TI-84 like this one, and then you will also have a graphing calculator, the Desmos graphing calculator available to you. You're gonna have these two calculators that I'm using available. So we are going to practice using both of them. To get the quadratic regression equation, you are going to use the TI calculator. These are the steps on a TI. And then once we get that curve of best fit, it will be helpful if we use um, the Desmos graphing calculator to graph that curve of best fit and then answer the questions that follow. Okay, so let's first go over how to do quadratic regression on the TI-84. So if you remember when we did linear regression, it is similar to that. We are gonna start the same exact way. To enter the data, we will press the stat key, which is to the left of those arrow keys, and then we'll hit enter, and then we'll put the X values in L1 and the Y values in L2. And then to calculate the curve of best fit, we will do stat, arrow over to calc, and this time we'll go down to five for quadratic regression. With linear regression, we did four. This time we'll do five for quadratic regression. Um, one more thing I need to mention about the calculators is this one right here is not the exact same as a TI-84. It's pretty close. Um, it's this app, Calculate 84, on my iPad. So it might look a little bit different on your TI-84, but it's almost the same exact thing. All right, so let's look at number one. It says JT threw a baseball from home plate to the pitcher. The table shows the height of the ball, H of X, at different distances from the home plate. Write an equation for the curve of best fit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my TI calculator to get this curve of best fit. I'm gonna put the X values or the independent values, which would be the distance in L1, and then the Y values or the height values in L2. So to get to L1 and L2, I'm gonna press stat, enter, and then in L1, I will put one, three, five, seven, nine, and then in L2, I will put those height values. So 3.92, 5.28, 5.28, 6, 6.08, and 5.52. And you might want to just double check really quick that you typed all those incorrectly. Looks like I did. So now I'm going to get the quadratic regression equation by doing stat, arrowing over to calc, and then going to five quadratic regression. So stat, arrow over to calc, and then down to five quadratic regression. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And their standard form of a quadratic equation, they're telling me A is negative 0.08, B is one, and C is three. So our equation for the curve of best fit is going to be Y equals negative 0.08 X squared, since that's A, and then plus X since B is one, and then plus three since C is three. Okay, so I have the curve of best fit, so I'm done with the TI calculator now because the other questions are asking me questions about the graph. So it says, what is the maximum height of the ball? That is going to be the Y value of the vertex. So I'm going to graph my curve of best fit on Desmos, negative 0.08x squared plus x plus 3. And then I'm going to go find the maximum. Looks like it's somewhere here. There it is. Okay, there's the maximum. So the maximum height of the ball is the Y value. So it's 6.125 feet. Okay. 
Okay, then it says predict the height of the ball when it is 10 meters away from the home plate. So let's think about if they gave us an X or a Y value here, 10 meters away from home plate. So the distance from home plate, it looks like is the X value and the height is the Y value. They're asking us to find the height, so they're asking to, us to find Y, so that means they gave us X. So I'm just going to replace X in this equation with 10. So it'll be negative 0 0.08 times 10 squared plus 10 plus 3. That will tell me how high the ball is whenever it's 10 meters away from home plate. And this one is going to be easier to use the TI since I have to make some calculations. So I'm just going to plug that in. Negative 0 0.08 parentheses 10 squared plus 10 plus 3. And I get 5. So when it's 10 meters away from home plate, that means it has a height of 5 feet. Okay, let's look at number two. It says Casey jumped off a cliff at Ink Lake State Park, State Park into the lake. His height h in feet after t time in seconds is shown in the table. Write an equation for the curve of best fit. So I need to use the ti to put this into quadratic equation quadratic regression. The time would be like my x values and the height would be like my y values. So this is going to go in L1 and L2. Remember on your TI, do not ever hit delete when you are hovering over L1 or L2 because it will delete that column. You want to use the clear. Or you might have to go through and individually delete the values, but do not ever hit delete whenever you're hovering over L1 or L2. Okay, now let's put these values in. So I get 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then the L2 values are 480, 482, 452, 390, and 296. So I have all of my values in the stat plot. Now I need to get the quadratic regression equation. So I'm going to do stat arrow over to calc and go down to five quadratic regression and then hit enter. And A is negative 16, B is 18, C is 480. So the equation for the curve of best fit would be Y equals negative 16 X squared plus 18 X plus 480. Okay, let's look at the next question. It says, how long will it take Casey to reach a height of 150 feet? So they are asking for how long. They're asking for an X value. So they gave us this Y value of 150 feet. So I'm going to replace Y in my curve of best fit equation with 150. And I get 150 equals negative 16 x squared plus 18 x plus 480. So lots of different ways to solve this equation. You could try factoring. You could always use quadratic formula. I am going to set this equal to zero and then graph it in Desmos and look for that positive solution or positive um, x-intercept since I have this Desmos graphing calculator available. So I'm going to subtract 150. And I get 0 equals negative 16x squared plus 18x. And then 480 minus 150 is 330. So now I'm going to find a solution, find the positive solution with the graphing calculator. You could use quadratic formula. Either will work. So I get negative 16x squared plus 18x plus 330. And there is my positive zero. It looks like 5.139 seconds is how long it would take Casey to reach a height of 150 feet. Okay, let's look at number three. 
It says Harmony went to a festival where one of the booths was pumpkin launching. The table shows the height of the pumpkin at different times. Write an equation for the curve of best fit. So first thing I'm going to need to do is put my time or x values in L1 and then my height or y values in L2. So let's pull up the 84, go to stat, enter, and delete the values from L1 and L2. And then let's enter these new values. So 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 3, 2.5 for L1, and then in L2 I have 18, 26, 26, 18, and 2. Okay, then to get the curve of best fit, we do stat, arrow over to calc, and go down to quadratic regression. Okay, so the equation for the curve of best fit here will be y equals negative 16x squared plus 40x plus 2. And then the next thing says, find the vertex and explain its meaning. So we could calculate the axis of symmetry by hand, um, but I'm going to go ahead and graph this and find the vertex on Desmos. So I get negative 16x squared plus 40x plus 2. And there is the vertex, 1.25, 27. Okay, so the vertex is 1.2527. Remember, this was showing pumpkin launching, okay? So it starts at the y-intercept, goes up to that maximum, and then comes back down. So this vertex is a maximum, and it means after 1.25 seconds, the pumpkin will reach its maximum height of 25 feet. So after... 1.25 seconds, the pumpkin reaches its maximum height of 27 feet.